Peter B. or Bassenger, good hearted man, wants president from South East to heal civil war wounds. Rano Omokri. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Randall Mokri, former aide to ex-president Goldlock Jonathan, has reacted to the decision of former president Olushego Basanjo to endorse Peter B for 2023 presidency. News reports that Obasanjo had a, a message to Nigerian youth on Sunday called for support for B presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election. According to B endorsement in a post on his verified social media page on Sunday, Omokuri, who is a prominent campaigner of Atiku Abubakar presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, said there was nothing wrong in Obasanjo's decision. While describing the former president as a good-hearted man, Omokuri said Obasanjo had always wanted someone from the South East to rule Nigeria as a way of healing the wounds from the bitter civil war fought between 1967 to 1970. He said, President Obasanjo is a good-hearted man. He has always wanted a president from the South East or one from the South South with Igbo roots. He believes that is the best way to heal the wounds of the civil war. He is a man who believes strongly in the unity of Nigeria. In 2007, he wanted Governor Peter Odele, but Governor Yaradu insisted on Governor Goodluck Jonathan as his running mate. Peter Odele said as much in his book, which corroborated, which corroborated by others, including Noho Ribado and Nassau Rafai. What Obasanjo did is understandable, but it will not matter in the election. Therefore, the People's Democratic Party will not be wise to attack it. As Tirimbu and the All Progressive Congress have done, President Obasanjo has done so much for Nigeria in peacetime and in wartime. Whether I would like his stance on anything, we must respect his status and place in history and respectfully agree to disagree. Uh, Randall right talks like person we get. Uh, 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 now, wow. Omakuri knows his mates. He cannot run his mouth pata pata when it comes to Baba issue. She should get size. <laughs> because me, I'm like, eh, this one makes sense. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, Abi, uh, I don't think talk they okay. Even PDP, to be wrong for PDP to come outside and start fighting Baba. Ha. It would be very wrong for PDP to start fighting Baba now. But the thing we say, um, we think Randall talk makes sense. I won't even ask, are you sure saying that Randall talk this thing? Honestly speaking, everybody knows Baba is always a Baba. Abi. <laughs> Can you guys comment Keno for once, huh? He just said in the first and you're still not happy about it. They, they, uh, they, they said that Neno knows his mate, meaning he talk well. Ha! Ah, some people were in a blood to the hot. Ah, ah. Hey. What amazes me if, if Obi wins the presidency for South East and has been busy abusing other tribes in Nigeria, how does he so intend to survive more, more so when he has no serious presence in the National Assembly? Let him win first. Hey. Brother, let him win first. Abi. If he wins now, everything will fall in place. Do you know how it was impossible for him to win, uh, what's it called, his, his state election during then? And how many times they impeached him? Ha. Huh. Well, let him win first. The campaign is allowed after a minute they come to APC in 2015. Hmm. Okay. The endorsement will not matter, but it is a stomach that will matter. Well, me, I'm also of the opinion that the endorsement does not matter who. Because we have been saying it for a very long time. All this thing will not matter. Now we will still hold our PVC. Now we go see votes. Hmm? Dear Reno, you made sense for the first time. I'm telling you. For a very long time, Reno never write like this. Well, I'm not going to be surprised that he will come out and start writing in the Boski. In fact, I wanted to even say, this time Reno talk like this. Let me say in the next post. Eh? <laughs> Your post will not make sense at all. Which sense... Red Democracy is a green snake in green grass. He said we agree to disagree. Reno has been has been released from Kirikiri. Reno is supposed to be in Kirikiri. Why are you sounding like this? Endorsement of P2B by former president Olushego Basenjo does not mean anything in politics. Former president Olushego Basenjo endorsed Atiku Abubakar in 2014 election campaign 
and the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar never win. He also did the same in 2019, but his candidates never win also. Obasanjo endorsements no mean anything. Why are you talking about something we no mean anything? I be yourself no mean anything self. You feel sleep because of endorsements, yet in okay, you know feel sleep before the endorsement, yet you no mean anything. I beg me could not leave me. Me could not leave me, use God they beg with that. OBJ endorsing OB is fear of losing his business interests in any of the two people. He has stuck with different name wins election. All his secret will be exposed, but P2B will do his bid if he wins. He has no moral better than the people. His tagging names. Ah ah. Mawa. That is where experience matters. A governor number with no assembly member of his party in his first tenure. Okay. This guy, Peter B, is a Nigerian project. There is no Biafran links to this project. Well, for those who are worried that Peter B will be impeached, he was impeached and he fought to and nail. And he fought and came back and continued. So it is not going to be a problem. Make him win first now. If he win first, all this one we did, okay, everything will fall in place. Well, like I said, though, I'm of the opinion that Peter B is coming out to join. I mean, Peter B coming out to. OBJ coming out to endorse Peter B. I'm of the opinion that it might not mean anything. Why? Because they can come outside and say they're for you. Meanwhile, they're not for you. So, me, I'm not putting it to heart like that. OBJ is the next president. Baba endorsed Yeradua, Jonathan, and Buhari now. Oracle has been spotted. Hmm. Okay. PDP was a ruling party then. Since 2015, the DPC took over. He has also been campaigning against them and he has been losing. So whoever he backs is irrelevant. Just like the people in APC, Reno have spoken like a reasonable person. But if OBJ stands with against to be, the atmosphere would have been different because children of hate would have been up in anger against everyone. Nothing on earth can heal the evil man's mind, not even division. But allowing them go will be in the interest of other tribes and village and regions. They have grudges with almost every tribe and faith in Nigeria. Exactly. Now, can you afford to let them go since you know they have grudges with every Ni every tribe in Nigeria? Why are you still begging them to stay with you? Why are you attacking the self-determination group, IPOP? Why not just let them go so that other tribes can have peace? Wala. Wala deal. There can never be an opposite because everybody supporting Tunumbu is an animal. Abba. How about this is too brutal. Nigerian so I leave this one to you. At the end of it day. At the end of the day. Eh? At the end of the day, um, let us make sure we vote for somebody who is All right, let us make, for, um, make sure we vote for somebody who is competent, capable, and is going to take Nigeria to a better place. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>